Ayman al-Zawahiri, you see on the screen there, had been a, a, a leader, a spiritual leader, and also someone who was fomenting terrorism in different groups around the world. Uh, this is a huge, huge win for the U.S., and um, we expect to hear that and where the fight goes from here as far as taking out other terrorists. Uh, this is a big, big deal uh, and a big get for the U.S. and, frankly, for President Biden. Oh, it is, uh, Brad. It's a huge compliment to President Biden for seeing it through. It's also a compliment to the American intelligence community and the military, which never gives up on a target. This is a presidential level decision, one would think. At a oh, yes. He has to decide to go in there. And if he misses and kills innocents, Brett, it's a disaster for Joe Biden. So I'm giving him a big thumbs up for this. It's uh, like applauding Nancy Pelosi for going to Taiwan. When they take a bold move like this, it reaffirms America's standing in the world. And every president, Bill Clinton tried to kill bin Laden and missed and took a lot of heat for it. Bush had to face this going after Zarqawi and, and Saddam never letting up, and, and Obama did, and Trump did, certainly more with Soleimani than maybe anyone else. That has the most blowback. But Joe Biden, all honor to him. He pulled the trigger, and this is an enemy of the West. It's an enemy of the United States. A lot of American blood on Zawahiri's hands, and there are a lot of Americans celebrating his demise tonight. If you are wondering how big of a deal this is, look no further than the fact that not only can't these conservatives find fault with Biden's move, they're actually falling over themselves with praise for him. And you know what that means. It's gonna be all Hunter Biden all day for at least the next week on the right to try and distract everyone from what clearly is a huge win. As Biden mentioned, Zawahiri was the leader of Al Qaeda who helped Osama bin Laden plan the 9-11 attacks among a number of other killings. He had the blood of thousands of innocent Americans on his hands. And now, because of this administration and the intelligence community, the world has one fewer terrorist to worry about. Here's the announcement from Biden himself about Zawahiri's death. My fellow Americans, on Saturday, at my direction, the United States successfully concluded an airstrike in Kabul, Afghanistan that killed the Emir of Al-Qaeda, Iman al-Zawiri. You know, Zawiri was uh, bin Laden's leader. He was with him all the, the whole time. He was his number two man, his deputy at the time the terrorist attacked 9-11. He was deeply involved in the planning of 9-11, one of the most responsible for the attacks that murdered 2,977 people on American soil. For decades, he was the mastermind behind attacks against Americans, including the bombing of the USS Cole in 2000, which killed 17 American sailors and wounded dozens more. He played a key role, a key role in the bombing of U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, killing 224 and wounding over 4,500 others. He carved a trail of murder and violence against American citizens, American service members, <clears throat> American diplomats, and American interests. And since the United States delivered justice to bin Laden 11 years ago, Zawahiri has been a leader of al-Qaeda, the leader. From hiding, he coordinated al-Qaeda's branches and all around the world, including setting priorities for providing operational guidance that called for and inspired attacks against U.S. targets. He made videos, including in recent weeks, calling for his followers to attack the United States and our allies. Now, justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. We, we make it clear again tonight that no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. After relentlessly seeking Zawahiri for years under Presidents Bush, Obama, and Trump, our intelligence community located Zawahiri earlier this year. He had moved to downtown Kabul to reunite with members of his immediate family. After carefully considering the clear and convincing evidence of his location, I authorized a precision strike that would remove him from the battlefield once and for all. This mission was carefully planned rigorously minimized the risk of harm to other civilians. And one week ago, after being advised that the conditions were optimal, I gave the final approval to go get him. And the mission was a success. None of his family members were hurt, and there were no civilian casualties. And I gotta say, it's pretty nice not to hear about how someone was killed, quote, 
like a dog for a change. And speaking of Trump, it's worth noting that while Joe Biden was overseeing the death of one of the architects of September 11th, the former president was hosting a golf tournament for the Saudis. You might remember Saudi Arabia as the country that was home to 15 of the 19 September 11th hijackers. And when Trump was asked about the criticism that he's received from 9-11 families for hosting this Saudi-backed golf tournament at his own club, here's how he shrugged it off. You're so closely associated with the city of New York. Yeah. You, of all people, understand the passion surrounding 9-11. What do you say to those family members who prote protested earlier this week and will be doing so again on Friday? Well, nobody's gotten to the bottom of 9-11, unfortunately, and they should have, as to the maniacs that did that horrible thing to our city, to our country, to the world. So nobody's really been there, but I can tell you that uh, there are a lot of really great people that are out here today and we're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to celebrate and money's going to charity, a lot of money's going to charity and you have really the best players in the world, many of the best players in the world and soon you'll probably have all of them. I've known these people for a long time in Saudi Arabia and they've been friends of mine for a long time. Uh, they've invested in many American companies, they own big percentages of many, many American companies and uh, frankly what they're doing for golf is so great, what they're doing for the players is so great, the salaries are going to go way up. Uh, the PGA was not loved by a lot of the players, as you know, for a long time. Weird that it always comes back to money. <laughs> Never would have expected that. Huh. In other words, while Trump was out here casting doubt about 9-11 because, of course, he had a financial interest in doing so, Biden was ordering one of the guys responsible for planning it to be killed. But hey, maybe it's just a normal part of the America First agenda to carry water for 9-11 perpetrators so long as you're getting a big enough payout, right? And finally, if you do manage to see Republicans applauding this move, maybe also remind them that their party is holding up the PACT Act, which would deliver funding to treat veterans with illnesses as a result of being exposed to burn pits. Only days ago, Republicans decided to use that bill to retaliate against the Democrats for introducing a reconciliation package that was completely unrelated. They didn't want Democrats to score a political win, so they decided to hurt our own veterans. That's what that party stands for. They'll hide behind platitudes about our military all day but then turn around and throw those same people under the bus if it means they can score a cheap political win. In any case, thanks to the leadership of this administration, the world is just a little bit safer tonight. And that's something that both sides should be, and in many cases are, celebrating. Before you go, couple things. First, if you want to support my work, the best way is to subscribe to this channel. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. And second, if you want to see and hear more from me, check out my website, BrianTylerCohen.com. That way you can get links to my podcast, merchandise, ways to donate to voting rights organizations, and so much more. The thumbnail is also right here on the screen, so go check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching.